All right, guys, so we're going to look at some jewelry crafting here. Uh, let's first look at the skills that we need for this. Okay, engraver. This allows us to use higher quality materials. Keen eye allows us to see further the materials from further away when we're farming them. Jewelry extraction. Uh, this is what allows us to get the materials from the items that we deconstruct. Um, Lapidary research. This reduces the times of researching and limits to 30 days. Plating's expertise. This more than doubles the chances of proving items with platings. Platings are what take it from purple to gold, making them more powerful. So let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, so we have refine. Okay, refine is these are the raw materials that we collect throughout the game, farming, whatever, however you may get them. Maybe you get uh, a couple pieces of chromium grains from a, a box or something that you find. So we'll go ahead and select these, okay, by hitting A. Then we'll hold down X to refine. All right, so those are the materials that we recovered. You can see them on the right-hand side. Okay, creation. This is where we're going to create our items. Okay, so we can create either a ring or a necklace. These are our, the base material that we need. So it goes from pewter to platinum. Remember that the higher the CP, the more it requires. So if I take this to 160, it'll require 100 uh, piece uh, platinum ounces. Okay, move down here. These are our traits. Okay, we have arcane, which increases max magicka. Um, this is our healthy, which increases our max health. This is robust, which increases our max stamina. This is a triune. This will increase all three. So your Magicka, your Stamina, and your Health, okay? It'll give you all three of those. They are less than the original. So if I look at ours, our here, our Stamina, we get a 750 if you run a Robust. But if here, you will get a 375. So you're about half of what you get. Uh, this is good and bad. Um, you would have to do the calculation, but in game, certain things, it is probably good, probably if you're a tank. It would be good to use something like this. Next one we have is infused. Okay, this increases the jewelry enchantment effect by 24%. Then we have protective. This increases the spell resistance and physical resistance. Then we have swift. This increases the movement speed. Then we have harmony. This increases damage, healing, resource restore, and damage shield strength of synergies you activate by 15%. Okay, so this, when you activate something uh, like a shield or something, a shield synergy, okay, synergies are come from when you're playing with other players. This will actually help to make them better. Then bloodthirsty, increased damage against enemies under 25% health. Okay, so if an enemy has 25% health or lower, the damage increased is increased by 6%, okay, on... A normal ring okay so if I had it per, uh, purple or gold it would increase it quite a bit more uh, I believe it takes it up to something like 12 percent um, I believe it's 12 percent uh, something like that I believe it's 12 percent uh, you can find all this online uh, there's a couple websites that really talk about this in depth okay we're just going over the basic information okay so if I take a ring here okay we can craft a ring We'll go ahead and craft a normal ring. Uh, we're not going to use Bloodthirsty. That's too expensive of a practice one. Okay, so we'll make uh, an arcane here. Do I have an infused? I do have enough infused that I could create it infused. Okay, so as we see, we have the arcane here, which increases max magicka. Um, this is obviously for a mage. So we're going to go ahead and increase the max magicka here. We're going to do that one. We'll craft one. Okay, so in my inventory now, I have this ring. There it is, there's the platinum ring. Okay, right now we have no enchantment effects on it, and it is just a plain silver ring. So if I come over here and we do an enchant, so 
we're going to create an enchantment here. Uh, let's do... Well, we can do Magicka Region. We'll do a Magicka Region enchantment here. Okay, as you can see, it says Jewelry Glyph, Superb Glyph of Magicka Recovery. So we're going to go ahead and craft that. Regera, Nakoma, Jijota. Okay, so we'll go back to my inventory. We'll take a look at the ring. Okay, it's right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Y, Enchant. We have, actually, I have a one that I didn't know I had. Okay, there we go. So we're going to hit A, we're going to enchant it, and now we have increased it. Okay, so now this ring will give me Magicka Recovery. Okay, as you can see, the ring on the right, the Plague Doctor's ring, has 174 spell damage. So there are different types of enchantments, obviously, that you can add. So let's come back over here. We'll give this one upgrade here and one improvement. Don't want to waste a lot of materials. These materials are very expensive. Um, a legendary plating, one single plating, is probably between 85 and 90,000 gold, maybe even 100,000 gold, depending on what it is. So we're not going to waste too much here. We'll just do a fine enchantment just to get it up, just to give you an idea. Okay, so this one will take my ring from 750 max magicka to 780 max magicka. So that gives me a slight increase on my magicka. Uh, so we'll go ahead and improve that. Okay, that plating only cost me one because I have, uh, that only cost me one plating because in my skills, under jewelry crafting, I have plating's expertise. The, hi the higher quality that you increase them to with platings, the more it'll cost you. So if I add this on, the Iridium will cost me two platings, Epic will cost me three platings, and Legendary will cost me four platings. So if you do not have any of these materials in your bag and you want to take, a ring, uh, take this ring up to Legendary, just the Legendary alone will cost you 400,000 gold, roughly. Maybe a little, 380,000. You know, somewhere around there, unless you actually have the materials. So deconstructing items will give you these materials that you need. Finding them, uh, doing the daily crafting writs, and having the hiring hireling under this. Uh, where is he? There. Oh, this one doesn't have the hireling. Sorry, that's under clothing, blacksmithing, and woodworking. And I believe provisioning also. No. Yeah, provisioning also has a hireling, but as of now, they haven't given the jewelry crafting a hireling yet. But enchanting, all the other ones they do, but jewelry crafting, no. So we went ahead and created it. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this ring now. So we're gonna add it, get some of the materials back. We're not getting anything back what we originally got, but that's okay. Now we have research. Research is where you're gonna research the items, okay? So each of these traits, Okay, these take a long time to do. Um, as you get up, once you get past robust, if you do, let's say you did it in this order, this is where they start getting more expensive. So if I wanted to research Bloodthirsty, I would have to find uh, somebody in the guild store, maybe that's selling a Bloodthirsty ring or something like that, and they're gonna be super expensive. Uh, but you will find these items. Uh, each of these items can be found in a different place. Uh, some of them are dropped in the Undaunted Daily Rewards when you do random dungeons. You know, they're dropped in different places. Uh, look online and you can find where these are dropped. Um, and the same thing for the necklace, uh, for the ring, exactly the same thing. So once you get all these created, then you can create jewelry anywhere in any crafting station in Tamriel. Then we have our sketches. These are the items that you can create with it. I only have three of them here. Uh, I don't know how many there are for jewelry. I know there's not as many for other items, but we can take a look here and see a preview of some of these. We have a gravy boat, a cup of rice, and a goblet. All right, so once you have all your items uh, researched, uh, you can go create rings wherever you want. Now, most of the rings that we're going to use, um, Bloodthirsty is kind of an in-game trait. 
uh, that most people will use. But if you're magicka based, you're probably going to use arcane. If you're health based, like a tank or something, you're going to use healthy. And if you're uh, stamina based, sorry, you're going to use robust most of the time. Uh, stamina based may also use swift, okay, because this increases your movement speed. Infused is good because this will increase your power on some of your items when you enchant the item. So like this item here, if I had an infused jewelry trait, it'll take my max, uh, my magic of recovery up higher than this. It'll take it to like 140 something, somewhere around there. So my the infused trait is good too. Um, it just, you'll lose your magicka. If, if you're a magicka base, you lose that magicka. So 780 magicka you'll lose, but you may have more power overall because you're using a uh, spell damage, let's say like this one here, it'll go up from 244 to 270, 260 something. It'll go up to that, so it'll increase your power. So maybe the loss of magic is balanced out because you're more powerful. Uh, that's kind of, uh, you know, what you need to figure out as you play the game. All right, and that is it for the jewelry crafting. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.